All right, welcome back. Still new day on TV3. And that was quite a heated conversation between Johnny and our politicians. I was seeing a few comments coming through. Um, I said I was going to read one. So Jamel earlier said that tell Richard to allow us to enjoy the show. I guess he was interjecting too many times. Uh, but I hope that you were able to catch some information in there as well. And thank you to Yao as well for the sports update. Now we're moving on to talk about technology. And I've been a bit big on technology, especially after um, I moderated a session at Columbia University earlier this year and so I started reading a bit more about it. Uh, something that's totally new to me however is geospace and that's something I've been trying to um, you know get updated on and so if you're also very interested in that then this conversation is for you because we'll be talking about the Africa Geospatial Data and Internet Conference 2019 and I have some people in the studio to talk about it and to give us more information just so that you can also attend and hopefully get to learn a bit more about it but quick one happy birthday going out to John Asan. This is from Bernard from TV3. He says, God bless you and enjoy your day. Now, um, in the studios, I have Edward Bruce Lyle. He's the planning analyst, National Development Planning Commission. Thank you so much for joining me. And next to him is Kweku Entry, Director of Capacity and Outreach, Africa Open Data and Internet Research Foundation. Welcome as well. So for someone who is new to geospatial data, whatever that is, can you just briefly run me through it? Okay, so geospace, as, it, as geo stands for, mm. it looks at the entire Earth mass or the geographical location. Okay. And the space talks about um, the technology, the spatial technologies which are used. Mm. Um, in before, recent, uh, recent past, we'll say, yeah. we used to have maps and, you know, information of our geographical locations. And these have been digitalized and improved with okay. various technologies like satellite technologies, mm with um, global positioning um, um, technologies, which are able to pinpoint and also give information. Okay. So it's not just looking at that, that, that data as it is, but you're able to interact with it and use it for various purposes. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that Africa is home to the youngest population mm -hmm. um, across the world, and a lot of young people have phones now. Yes. That's like one of the commonest things around us. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to have geospace or to know about geospace um, in this modern era? Yes, so you rightly put it that um, now the cell phone or the mobile phone has become the easily accessible technology tool we are yeah. able to use. Mm. But uh, even with the, 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 the mobile phone or the, the cell phone, oh, yeah. we're able to use for various purposes. Yeah. So now easily uh, there's popular maps, for example, which is able to give you um, calculated time in which you can be able to reach certain places. Yeah. And with that, your, your device also interacts with other systems, mm. which is also able to give you information, like you're able to dial, download satellite imagery and wherever you're going, and even weather updates and other things. And we'll, when we get time, we can talk about how we are using and applying these technologies, okay. not just in areas of um, economic activities, but mm. also in utilizing these tools, so also for food production, and also oh. other, 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 other means of industry. Okay, it can be used for all of that. Yeah. Because I was telling you earlier that I was in Ashesi some time back, and yeah. you know there were these students I think from UMAT. Okay. Um, so they came up with this technology. Um, I, I guess it's geospatial as mm -hmm. well. So what they do is you enter the details of your location. And instead of it just pointing out to some box that says this is your location, you can actually see the house. So you yes. see the roof. Yes. You can see everything around. Yes. And I was I was very impressed yes. by that. Yes, yes. And I mean it's quite interesting because what is even being used, for example, in agriculture, mm. for example, in which um, now we all know about these um, um, technologies even in terms we go to entertainment um, yeah. and weddings now we have drones but we even have drones which can be able to go and take um, soil samples to able to determine the 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 the, 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 the really? humidity and stuff and this is able to communicate we're able to know what plants to to, to, to plant and the harvest times and even see how and where to be able to utilize and get bumper harvests for example wow. so and these technologies are being used by other countries, mm -hmm. by other entities. And what we are planning to do for this conference is bringing everybody on an equal footing, mm. you understand, so that we are able to come together both from Africa and also expertise from all over the world, and we're able to use this in Africa for ourselves. I see. Because somebody can be doing something in La Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Niger, South Africa, and we might be doing things which the other people do not know. Mm -hmm. And once we come together, then we're, it makes yes, sense. it makes sense. Uh, so, so, Edward, yeah. Essentially, essentially what um, Kweku is alluding to is that uh, with geospatial information technology and data available to us because mm. of the technology that we'll use for 
analyzing um, economic activity. Yeah. That that data, that geospatial information data, would make us will give us opportunities to be able to plan better. Yeah. For our communities, plan better for our settlements, mm. and also probably take certain decisive decisions on policy that is required for us to develop. Okay. So um, I think Kweku hasn't mentioned this, but uh, as uh, one of the commitments that we've made. The UN, there's a UN initiative on uh, geospatial information management. Okay. And there's also been an Addis Ababa declaration on ge geospatial information management. Okay. And we've sort of committed to all of these things. So in our view as a country, what then are we doing with these commitments? How are we implementing it? What, what decisive steps are we taking to make sure that we realize these things mm. and help with our development? So yeah. you pick economic activity, yeah. like he alluded to, is one area that we can use geospatial information okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, systems for, as well as the data that we'll be getting from mm. that. So this conference is essentially to sort of bring in a lot more views and okay. uh, interest so yeah. that we can dig, dig deeper to understand how we can better use geospatial, geospatial information, information to plan for okay. a number of things, for our various sectors, agriculture, uh, tourism, all of that. We talk about heritage sites. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to know on uh, lo using location-based services where our heritage sites are placed and how we can add value to them. To that. So I guess it, it, that is, it agrees with your theme then, shaping yes, Africa's future. digital future. Uh, future. That's interesting. But let's talk about AI now mm -hmm. and 5G. <laughs> 5G is not in Ghana yet, but it's, it's been launched yeah. around. Right. Uh, I don't know what's delaying. We should, <laughs> we should be there by now. <laughs> but is, is it in relation, does it have any relation with um, any of these AI, 5G and so, all of that? So the AI stands, stands for artificial intelligence and it's based on data. Yeah. I mean, we live in a data revolutionary world now where the access to the data gives you a lot of information. You're able to determine certain things from mm. it. And machine learning and, um, uh, machine learning also comes with the able way machines are able to interact with these systems okay. to be able to give us some kind of um, um, knowledge that we're able to gather. And as part of the conference, which will be led by Severe West Africa, which is mm -hmm. also part of NASA, um, we're going to have some sessions and training um, workshops mm -hmm. to also bring in people like Ed, uh, Edward was talking about, even our plan, for example. Yeah. We can be able to bring in people from across Africa. We are doing trainings for them so that we use this technology and say, okay, this is what we have. We can be able to apply this mm -hmm. in your various fields of activity and your work, which you can be able to improve our communities. Yeah. Because right now, we want to be at the click of a button. You can be able to access the information, also interact with it and see what you can gain from yeah. it. You know? Okay. Mm. For those of us who like to sleep, is, can you come up with a technology that enables us to still be on air whilst we're in bed? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in bed, but then there's like a, I don't know what it is on, on air making it look like that's me. But tell me more about this event, uh, this, sure. you know, um, event that's happening. So what are the key aspects that you'll be focusing on? Okay, so so uh, the key aspects we'll be focusing on are the various industries. As we, as I said earlier, we are looking to bring people together on an equal footing. So yes, we would have mentioned about planning, we mentioned about agriculture, we mentioned about lands. One of our major partners for this is the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. Oh, nice. And the I news. mean, with anything, <laughs> yes, you know, I mean, we're on, we're on, I mean, we have to stand on ground. We're yeah. on earth, and there are various activities which are going. Um, we're also looking at industries like the water and sanitation, the construction mm -hmm. industries. Usually when we have conferences or programs like this we tend to be sector specific yeah. but we want to bring everybody together because he can tell you about the, the number of things the NDPC is yeah. doing and also other collaborators, yeah. the Ghana Statistical Academia. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well. yes. Yeah. You, you know, know, in academia, policy. Yeah. Yes. You know, so we want to bring everybody together and we're inviting people to come, you know, mm. to come. The, the website is open, you can register because there are other people coming from all over Africa and also internationally okay. who are coming to have even hackathons to even test technologies to be able to see how we can utilize these. Mm. Mm. One thing Kweku hasn't mentioned is the fact that it's important that uh, regional ministers, and when I say regional ministers, from the Africa region are uh, also engaged on this. So we are looking at targeting our invitations to them so that they can participate and okay. share experiences from their country of how this is working. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we expect that one of the outputs from this um, conference is to reaffirm some of the commitments they've made mm. on how we can better use geospatial uh, yeah. technology yeah. for development. Okay. So okay. it's actually a wide array of. It uh, is. And uh, I'm just thinking of a lot audience. of things. The fact that you yes. mentioned Ministry of Lands and Resources, is there a yes. way that we can come up with 
a, a technology that can spot those areas where they are smuggling those rosewood and immediately, <laughs> you know, send some robots to arrest them. Human trafficking. It, it is you know how you can easily locate some of these missing people. Yes. Stuff like that. I feel yeah. like we should start it getting is, to that point where it, it should possible. be easy. Yeah. It is um, possible. Yeah. Just just before I was coming in, I was reading on uh, one of the documents that we we are pushing or monitoring its implementation. Mm. What is the agenda for jobs? Yeah. Uh, it's a medium term. Uh, policy framework document that we, we have. And one of the sections on human settlement talks about certain areas that we have, for instance, slum upgrading, areas yeah. where people yeah. don't have access to water, mm -hmm. areas where uh, you, you have poor sanitation conditions. Yeah. It'll be interesting to know if we have location-based services to identify some of these areas yeah. and what are the households. There is a talk about, about some 388 uh, uh, households that do not have some of these sets, uh, certain uh, facilities, facilities, as well yeah. as a per certain percentage of the mm. population that do not have access to electricity, for yeah. instance. So you want to identify, for instance, where these households are located. Mm -hmm. If on a map, location-based services can help you to do that, why not? Then why not? Then exactly. why not? So and yeah, we is, can have this, this conversation is, even further if you yeah. decide to attend um, the Africa Geospatial Data and Internet Conference 2019. Tell me where, when, how, which, who, why. Yes. <laughs> how to do, get on. And how yeah. to get on. Yeah. So we're appealing to everybody. We are open. Everything is open to everybody. Okay. It's a grassroots, um, equal footing. You can talk to anybody who is at this conference. And we have various sessions, various training workshops. Mm. The website is AfriGeocon. Okay. dot org mm. all the information you need is there it's free okay it's free to attend okay. we, we we want to open it as an open platform for people for to people. come to interact and also learn from other counterparts all over africa and internationally okay and 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 we are collaborating with a number of entities like the ndpc the ghana statistical service mm. ministry of lands um global open data for agriculture and nutrition yeah. and also we survey west africa with an initiative by the us um, nasa and okay. also us aid and it's 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 going to be very interesting. And one of the sessions that we've uh, we've not um, mentioned is a women and girls session. I was going to ask. And you also that. It's a I youth session that. because yeah. because what we want to see is that we want to also whilst increasing the technologies, African geospatial and internet technologies, because now most of what we do we need an internet connectivity yeah. also allied internet services and platforms. Mm. And what we also want to do is that bringing this to the fore of people, we are also engaging everybody. Yeah. Okay. And we are bringing everybody on board because I mean you are in media already and we know the statistics and know mm -hmm. what is happening mm -hmm. and what we are trying to also do as Africans because we are integrating our continent yeah and some of these things are what helps us to bring everybody on board so we'll be able to share our experiences right. and also after that we have training workshop which is going to continue All so right. we're not just going to meet and just talk but yeah. we're going to continue, yeah. we continue. Yeah. hasn't mentioned this but it's uh, important to know that if you actually want to pa participate in this yeah. conference you actually register. You can register online. We have a website that's solely dedicated for this conference, right. so that you can actually follow what sessions will be will be will be mm. happening. And you can also live stream if you are not able to even attend. Is it the same so website he mentioned? It's the same website okay. that so can you he just actually touch mentioned. On that again? So it's uh, www.afrigion.com. Um, if anyone wants to register, they can just go online, right. register, provide their details ahead of, that. Ahead of the time, okay. and then just. Uh, uh, um, Okay, Register. and again, it's happening on the, from the 22nd Second. of October to the 24th yes. of October yes. at the Accra International Conference Center. Time? Yeah, um, it starts from, it's open nine. from 8, eight, eight but it starts from 9. 9, so, yeah, so okay. Nine. Okay, come come in, in. the EC's time, 4. Is that the end of it? <laughs> oh, or are nine. we going beyond that? <laughs> anyway, so um, I hope that you'll be able to attend, especially to the women as well. Mm. Um, it's important that we try and fill in those spots where... Um, you know, the, the men have tried to take over. We're trying to steal your sports from it. Is it okay? Anyway, so thank you so much in the studios. I had Edward Bruce Lyle, uh, Planning Analyst, National Development Planning Commission. Yeah. And Kweku Entry, Director, Capacity and Outreach, Africa Open Data and Internet Research Foundation. Thank you so much for joining me.